Hey guys, it's Sean or Heardred. The channel t name is Heardred, so if you want to refer me to as that or Sean, either or works. Um, this my this it's a new channel, so please, if you like the video, drop a like and a subscribe. That'd be great. Um, we are here to review the new and longly anticipated East Coast Dies Mirage. Um, it's great to see somebody that has been in the mesh market and started to get into the shafts and everything and someone that's been around lacrosse for a long time it's great uh, come into the head market um, it's always great to see new products and see new ideas come into the market um, in my opinion it's never a bad idea to try something and I think this is more than just an attempt on their part I think they really did a good job um, that's my humble opinion also I apologize for the length I will try to keep this short but um, I want to make sure that I try to be complete for you guys that are looking to buy it because I really do suggest you go out and give this a shot. Um, a little bit about me. Played for a long time. Um, took a couple hiatuses in there. Played a year college club. I'm now playing in two box leagues. One's really kicking my butt. It's really competitive. There's a lot of good guys that have been playing box for a long time in there. Um, and I'm working on finding my niche i'm playing some like defense transitions so i am pretty hard on my stuff you know i use a i use a wood shaft to try to give me some more durability out of my stuff but um as you can see this is my main stick it's a uh, little crooked and um that i got back in june so i'm pretty hard on my stuff so i can give you guys an update on how this holds up but with that being said, I wouldn't try something and get something if I didn't think that I could use it. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, here's uh, here's the Mirage. So if you look, as I said, it's pretty light. You can watch the promotional video for some of the tech specs. I think 4.5 ounces is what they said. So pretty light if you're into real lightweight. Um, my personal opinion is you're not really going to notice that little amount of weight, but for someone that's shooting, you very well could. Shooting a ton and looking for that extra mile an hour, two miles an hour to get an edge on your game. Um, it's also very impressive how stiff it is. You can see, whereas granted I've had this head for a little while, but also if you hear background noise, my dog's over there scratching herself staring at me she wants some more attention so I'll try to wrap this up for you guys and for her pretty quick um yeah it, it's it's fairly stiff um the sidewall struts are nice and big I like to see that um so I again I'll try to give an update but on durability but I think that it's gonna be a real good performer it's a little bit narrower it's still an X spec because really there's not gonna be any high school spec heads but it's a little bit narrower than like this i6 that i have and um like because they designed it for the offensively minded player i think that they definitely delivered with that um you can still i like i said i wouldn't have gotten it and i play a lot of short stick defensive mid and field and defense or transition and box so i wouldn't get it if i didn't think i could use it um it's a little bit narrower but i think that it's stiff enough that it's going to provide you durability on those checks. Um, in terms of the scoop, it's a little flatter than you might see with a lot of stuff, which I personally think they were talking about getting channel and stringers want channel. As they say, as their mantra is with this head, four stringers by stringers, I think they really delivered with that and kept true to that. I think if you keep it a little flatter, then what that does is it'll pull the mesh up here so you can get more channel out of it. You can see something like these old school heads. This is an old torque. This is pretty pointed because it's so narrow that you don't need more tautness up here to give you more channel. Um, yeah, and oh, butt stop. Nice little aesthetic there. Um, it's pretty hard. It's not going to be super cushy if you're one of those guys that likes a real cushy butt stop. But the aesthetic's real hard to argue with, um, as is a lot of the stuff that East Coast Dies puts out. But they put out a lot of stuff that I think seems like it performs very well, and 
looks really good while doing it. Um, and as Neon Dion said, look good, play good. Play good, pay good. So really like that. It's got a nice uh, metallic aesthetic to it that um, you, know, you, you get some reflective property with it. So, uh, and more tech specs, you can see the offset here, nothing crazy, but you do get some offset. Um, and the big thing is that we're now going to go into is stringability. Um, four stringers by stringers. And like I said, they delivered. If you look, this bottom rails pretty even along here. And what that does, Hey, Sorry, I covered my face for a second there. Um, what that does is it gives you a lot of options with where you want to put the pocket. So if you see some heads, like an optic, they kind of have a very specific point like down in the mid-low area where they bottom out. So yes, you can string any pocket and any stick, but it's the ease with which you can do that. Um, so with this, you they said they focused on more of a mid to mid-low, but as you can see, it stays pretty low. And I'm from an era, I graduated high school when I think whip was a lot more popular and so I play with a pocket that you can see that pocket sitting pretty high up there and I had no problem whatsoever getting it and getting what I think was a proper amount of channel considering how high the pocket was there. Um, I think it's harder to get a lot of channel up there but if you put the, uh, if you try to throw the pocket up there but uh yeah, I had some JW1 mesh lying around, and I thought it was only proper to throw some Hero mesh in a um, East Coast Dyes head. Um, I think it would be kind of sacrilege to throw a String King in there. But, yeah, I, it strung up really well. I really do think you guys should give it a shot. It's got the Made in the USA, and if you listen to them, they talked about getting the dyes, I believe, made here. For the head so it really was they weren't just giving you paltry jingoistic lip service i really do think they delivered on the made in the usa um thing which is really cool because you know as we all know lacrosse north american sport it's really cool to see something that's made in the usa in more than just one little piece or component thrown into it um yeah, so the only thing that I could see as a worry is when stringing it, with if you pull the strings real tight, you might get a little bit of a... You can see that little nick there. Just that little bit, that's the only thing that I could possibly see with it. And But, you know, different types of plastic will do that. But, yeah, string holes, no issue, lots of them. I think part of that... Nicking is because of the their oval, so when you pull them real taut, like I try to do, you'll kind of pull it in one area, and it'll nick the plastic a little bit. But, um, yeah, you know, you get some flex out of it, but it's pretty stiff. Um, you know, it's not a tank or a hammer, but it's, you know, it's definitely not a duel. Um, so I am really excited to try this out now that it's out. Um... Yeah, guys, give it a shot. It's always cool. It's a hard market to get into. If you saw like Adidas came in back in like 2009 and then had to exit, now they're back. And granted, I think East Coast Dyes is a great shot because they have a lot of followers that are already really behind a lot of their products. But I really hope you guys give this a chance. Um, you know, they're not a hugely storied brand with heads. This is their first one. And it's hard to break it to the market with the, with someone's first head, but I think this head did a really awesome job at it. Um, all right, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes, so if you guys from East Coast Dive see this, great job, keep it coming. Um, great to see new stuff, and great to see you guys that are such a great string company come out with a head. You know, so we were all excited for the String King head to come out, and I think this delivered just like that one did. All right, anyway, guys, again, I'm Sean, over and out. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Take it easy.